Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to BSOD Gaming. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up this absolutely awesome CMU UI for use with storing and playing your CMU games. Let's jump on over to my desktop view and get this setup started. The first thing we want to do is proceed to this link. It will be linked down in the description. We want to download cmuui.setup.exe. I'm going to put mine on my desktop. Once the download has finished, let's minimize this window and come back to our desktop. This is the file that we are going to be using for setup. All we need to do is run this file in order to complete our initial setup. Once this setup completes, we should be greeted with this window. All you need to do is click this Select CMU button and you need to navigate over to wherever your latest version of CMU is installed. Mine is on my desktop and you need to select your CMU.exe. The next thing you want to do is select the game folder in which you hold your CMU extracted games. Mine is here, my helper EX folder. Highlight the folder and click Select Folder. This next process can take quite a large amount of time, in my circumstance it took 3 minutes, but it may take less on your system if you have less games installed. And there we go, we now have our system fully set up for use with CMU UI 2.0. As you can see, our games are stored here on the left and we can see what our most played games are on the right hand side. You can click this star to make a game your favourite and clicking on the title will open a legend which tells you all about your games and shows you select screenshots. You can also come up to this tab here and click create desktop shortcut. If we do this and close off our CMU UI, you will see that we have a Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild shortcut on our desktop which allows us to load straight into game without having to launch CMU. This new CMU UI is a very, very helpful tool for all of us CMU users and I would love for the developers of CMU itself to work with CMU UI's team in order to create a much better user interface experience for us, the users of CMU. At the end of this video, I just wanted to put a quick footnote to let you guys know that you can now follow me over on Twitter. The link will be down in the description and Twitter is honestly the easiest way for you guys to get in contact with me. I even do regular Steam game giveaways which some of you guys can even attest to as a lot of you have won keys in the last few weeks. It's also a much easier platform for me to actually have a one-to-one -one chat with one of you if you need any help in relation to CMU or any of your games. As always guys, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.